Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to subscribe and it would mean the world to me to have you as part of our crafty fam. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers and we're going to do a giveaway when we hit 100,000 with some really cool prizes. So just hit that big red subscribe button, super easy to do. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a glittered wine bottle. This is a really fun way to use glitter and polycrylic. I absolutely adore making things this way. The polycrylic really holds up over time versus some of the other options you have to use for glue. Are you somebody who likes to decorate for Halloween or fall or both? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely a both kind of person. I love to put out both during October and then take the Halloween down right at the beginning of November and be ready for Thanksgiving. Fall is my favorite season. What's your favorite season? Let me know in those comments down below. I'm so excited for all the fun fall crafts that we can do and this is going to be one of my favorites I think for many years to come. And what I love is that polycrylic holds up really well over time versus some of the other options like Mop and Glow or Mod Podge. I have a whole video testing all the different types of glue you can use, and I used Christmas ornaments to do those, so I will link that down below if you wanted to see that one. To clean off my bottle from the label, I just used some industrial strength Goo Gone. You can get this at any hardware store, and it's super inexpensive and goes a really long way, but highly recommend having this if you're somebody who needs to take labels off of bottles or like tags off of glass products. This is an awesome product for that. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys how to put the glitter into your bottle, use the polycrylic and all of that. We'll go over to Design Space. We're going to use one of their designs to make our decal and then you're going to have a beautiful finished product when you're done. First thing we're going to do is take some polycrylic, which is from Minwax. This is the gloss kind, but to do this project you can use any kind. I've put some in a squeeze bottle from the Dollar Tree. I just find it a lot cleaner to put your product into your bottle or your um, ornament or whatever you're using with a little squeeze bottle. So all we're going to do is just squeeze a pretty generous amount into our wine bottle. And just like when you do Christmas ornaments, you are going to swirl this polycrylic around. And you want to make sure that you do it fairly slowly and you want to cover the entire bottle. And you can let it sit like this for a moment or two just to get some of that polycrylic to pool a little bit more. And you just want to be real careful and make sure that you cover the whole bottle. As you're going, you're going to just tip it a little bit more towards the end here. That way you get all that polycrylic all over your bottle. And we're just going to kind of let it pool. I got a little spot where I didn't quite get any, so we're just going to kind of move it around. So all you do is just move your bottle around. I will speed this up for you guys. ahead and let your bottle dry for usually about five to six minutes. This one I did put a lot of polycrylic in so I'm gonna need to move it a couple times. You'll see like there's pools. So I'm gonna probably let this dry a little closer to 10 minutes because I did have to use quite a bit of polycrylic to make sure that I covered the entire bottle. So we'll let this dry. While that dries you can start to cut your decal, weed your decal, and get all of that prepared. We are going to use a design from Cricut Design Space Access on the side of our wine bottle. So we're just going to use this cute Drink Up Witches. Now I've measured the bottle and I can go about 2.5 inches wide. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is up here where it says width, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 2.5 and it'll resize the entire little decal to a proper size on what will fit on the bottle and it will make sure that the width and the height are good to go. So this is what we're going to cut right here and we're going to click on make it and I'm going to show you what it looks like on your screen. So you have the, the black part which is the hat and the words and then you have the little green swirls. You can cut these in any colors that you wish with any vinyl that you wish. We are going to go ahead and use some StarCraft Magic for the hat and the words, and then we'll use some StarCraft HD for the little green swirls. 
I cut the StarCraft Magic on the vinyl with more pressure setting, and then I cut the StarCraft HD on just regular vinyl with regular pressure. Our first color that we're going to cut is the Gunmetal Hoax Hollow, which is so sparkly. The Hoax Hollow has the larger sparkles in it, where the Deceit is the smaller sparkles, but we're going to use the larger sparkles. The next color that we're going to use is Style Tech Fluorescent Green. This is a new line that 143 is carrying. I will link everything I'm using down below in the description. But I'll let you guys go ahead and watch this cut. Once you've let your bottle dry for about 10 minutes and drain, you are ready to add glitter. We are going to use the StarCraft Sunset. This is a really pretty holographic glitter, and I always recommend having a funnel handy for this because the top of a wine bottle is pretty small. This is a really, really pretty holographic orange glitter, and it's going to look really nice in our bottle. So what we're going to do is put our funnel in the top, and then all you're going to do is pour some glitter in. I don't like to pour a ton in at first. I just pour a little bit, and you can always add more glitter as you need to. And then I just tap the top of my funnel to make sure any of the glitter that might be stuck in the funnel is out. And then just like when you did the polycrylic, you're going to do the glitter the same way. And I like to tap a little bit as I go because there will be like some loose glitter that you can kind of tap and move around. Now I will say that the wine bottles do take quite a bit more glitter than doing an ornament. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure that whatever glitter you're going to use, you have plenty of. So obviously we need quite a bit more. But like I said, I always like to add a little too, like a little not enough, and then add as I go. I would rather do that than have a ton of glitter in here and make a big, giant mess. So I've added quite a bit more this time. So all we're going to do again, just spin it around. I like to have a piece of pre-creased parchment paper ready because this is where I'm going to pour my glitter once it's done with the bottle. So I've added a little bit more glitter and I'm going to just do this portion over the parchment paper. That way if any glitter escapes out the top, it's all saved. You want to make sure you do get the top of your bottle. So once you've kind of gotten the main bottle part, what I do is I take my hand, place it over the hole, and then I shake. I find this a lot easier than trying to swirl it around the top there and I really feel like you get a lot of good coverage that way. You do end up with glitter all over your hand but that's okay. So now what you're going to do is go ahead and take any of that loose glitter that's left in your bottle and pour it out onto your parchment paper. You can go ahead and tap because you want to get all that loose glitter out of there. You don't want a lot of loose glitter so floating around in there. And this glitter is totally reusable. It doesn't have any of the poly on it so it's not going to ruin your glitter jar. That looks pretty good. Looks like we got most of the glitter. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take my glitter, pop the top off, and this is why I love parchment paper because it just, the glitter really doesn't stick to it. It just really likes to slide right off of parchment paper, and I pre-crease so that it's really easy to pour it right back into the bottle. And there you go. That is ready to sit and dry for a little bit. You don't have to let it dry uh, before you put your decal on. You can put your decal on right now. We're ready to apply our decal, which I have weeded here. We have our two pieces. So what we're gonna do is take transfer tape and place it over both items. So I'm gonna get this one first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it to the green as well. Now you want to take a squeegee and go ahead and just run that over the top of your decals. I'm going to go ahead and cut mine apart. And we'll start with the black hoax hollow. What I do is I flip it over and I actually remove the backing from the vinyl. This is such a pretty vinyl. I cannot wait to see it on this. So what I have this on is, and I'll show you guys this really quick before we get started. This is this really cool cup holder from a company called Chipped Builds. I have a couple of these that are coming for a giveaway when I hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you do subscribe because I'm going to have a really cool giveaway. We'll give away a couple things for that. So now what I'm going to do is kind of figure out where abouts on my bottle I want my decal. There's no right or wrong place to put this, but you just want to try to make sure it's good and straight. 
and then just lay it down. And I do this pretty gently with my finger just in case I see anything that maybe isn't in quite the right spot, but that looks really, really good. Wine bottles are really easy to add decals to because they're nice and smooth. They've got a good curve to them. So now what you wanna do is go ahead and take your squeegee and go ahead and run that all over your decal. This just helps it adhere to the glass. And then what you're gonna do is take your transfer tape and rather than peeling it straight up and really quickly, you're gonna go pretty slow and peel it back at like folding it almost completely flat at an angle. And that way you can kind of watch to make sure that everything is staying stuck down. Now I will say this glass is a little bit chilly this morning, so it is a little harder to get things to stick when stuff is just a little cold. So you can warm it up a little bit with your hand and then wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol if you want. But it's sticking really, really well, so you should be okay. But you just wanna go slow, make sure that all these little lines are staying stuck down. Anything that looks like it's lifting, you can just sort of tap it with your finger and help it stay down. Like this little C, I kind of figured would be a little difficult. So all I'm doing is as it's lifting, I'm just taking my finger and holding it down and then just kind of moving my transfer tape off of it very slowly. And same with like the T. These little letters are sometimes really hard to get to stick. So you just need to take your time and you can use your finger to help hold them down if they're lifting. And then once the ta transfer tape's off, they should hold down just fine. But sometimes that transfer tape just wants to take your letters with it. And you can just go just very slowly, one letter at a time. And you just wanna make sure that everything is staying down. Just slowly, one letter at a time. You got all that. I'm gonna just make sure that everything looks like it's well down before I go ahead with the green. So the green one goes this direction so that these little green things are on the side of, or under the hat, and then these are on the side of the hat, and then this one goes over here on the hat. So again, we're gonna go ahead and flip this upside down. This is again the Style Tech Fluorescent. I thought this would look really fun and super Halloween. So all I'm gonna do is lay that down. And I'm actually gonna do end up doing this, I think, in three different parts because I didn't quite get this exactly where it was supposed to be. I should have looked a little closer, but that's okay. We can do this in a couple parts. So what you need to do if you have something like this where you didn't get it quite right, but one part of it looks okay, oh no! All right, so we're gonna show you guys how to fix a mess up because these are sometimes, it's just nature of life. I wasn't paying full attention. So what I did was I accidentally peeled off the W and the I to the word witches. So all I'm gonna do is just place those right back down. You can absolutely do that. They come off pretty easy because they haven't cured. So keep that in mind and you do wanna try to pay attention when you're peeling off transfer tape for other parts of your decal. So what you'll do is just, you can just place them right back down, it's fine. No big deal and nobody will know the difference. So now when we go to do the top ones, we'll be a little more careful. We'll, what you can do too is if you're worried about it getting on any more of your decal, just trim your transfer tape down a little bit more so that you don't have to worry so much about it getting on any of the other letters. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and set that last piece by itself because it's not quite where I want it. It might be where the decal wants it, but it's not where I want it. So again, I'm just rolling my transfer tape off very, very gently. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and put this one. And like I said, this one wasn't right where I wanted it, so that's why I did that one separately. Oops, and that one didn't wanna stick very well. So we'll just make sure to give that a good rub. So nobody's perfect and mistakes happen. It's okay, there are lots of ways to fix them and you can absolutely fix them, no problem. You can't even tell that I lifted that W and the I off of the word witches. Let's get a full view of our new Halloween decoration. I hope you guys had so much fun learning how to make this really cute glitter wine bottle. Keep in mind you can do this with any type of bottle or jug that you would like to. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am on that path to 100,000 and would love to have you as part of my crafting family. Be sure to leave some comments down below and let me know what you think of this project. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.